wheel down on like three layers. <laughs> Over a year waiting yeah. for this car. It's finally here. Finally, it's here. A year and a half. In the collective, a year and a half in transit. What are you up to? We're about to take two very special cars to the stadium. This is round three, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Get those two last ones too. The ones that are tucked away is the ones I only drive, you know? Uh, you trying to get out cars out of here? Yeah, I'm trying to get them a big stadium today. There's too many cars in here. Too many cars on the way. There's no way to get them all in here. So we gotta cycle them out. Try to figure it out right now. Attempted to take the Koenig Special last time to uh, the stadium and it actually started acting crazy. It said it was overheating. I'm not sure if it actually was. I think the gauges were going crazy. But uh, it was overheating. It stopped shifting, so I brought it right back. Now we're going to attempt to take it again and we're going to take it alongside the ABC exclusive SEC, which we just got, which also needs to be restored. So let's do this stadium time. Guys, the Earth song Priceless by Vico. I say, Riding in the rain, no wipers. And it's a fact. Look, the wipers don't work. Let's see what happens. Oh, got it! I believe in my brother, Julio. I believe in him. That was sick, bro. Did that. I'm ready to go to the stadium now. successful attempt <laughs> to move the Koenig to the stadium, sadly. Number two. It is what it is. We were rescuing cars that have been abandoned and left to die, so we're trying to revive them. It's like 55 degrees here and everyone's freezing in Florida. We all got on like three layers. <laughs> and I'm from the cold, but I've been out here in Florida so long that it's just when the temperature drops, it's He's like, adapted. Can't do it no more. We had iguanas falling out of trees in Florida. All the wizards dying in the trees and hitting the pavement. Oh shoot, one right here. Yup. Golly, I'm just, just as I was saying that, I just walk over this one right here. It was a really weird deal out here, so. The rest of the country all frozen. We're staying icy down here. All right guys, this time we're actually gonna make it to the stadium. For sure, we're gonna do it. Stay tuned, watch the ride, let's go. Sometimes when you have these cars, they're doing like very innovative stuff. And the seat belt assist for Mercedes and the SEC was very special at the time. And uh, a new innovative technology. And as you can see here, it's going crazy. <laughs> so we have to probably disconnect this for now at some point and then uh, take a look at exactly what's happening. Probably a relay. Finally, third time's a charm, you know? How'd that car drive? It was good. I was Mine going, drives like shit. That's why I was like, I wasn't going to leave you. <laughs> when we pulled out the cars that day, you know, uh, it rained and then we pulled them all back in. So all the cars have like, like residue on them. So we got to pull all the cars back out and wash them. So we're trying to figure that out right now. Owning this many cars, you go through a lot of weird stuff. So part of the collector life, we signed up for it. We're going to be overlapping this in the museum for a while and also the showroom. So we'll have the space now to move things around. Once we start moving things out, we can take our time and get the ones working that need to get working. And right now, the problem, the main focus for me is getting all these cars fixed. And just yeah, everything has to be mobile in here. We can't have cars just laying around that can't move. Uh, all things hip. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You already know what it is. The biggest ever do it. Tina Collective. I mean, I got my little Ben's merch on today. Represent for the culture. Shout out to everybody, Sap Rocky. Shout out to everybody out there. Today, we're expecting a special car. I mean, the 190E Koenig Special finally arriving to the Kingdom of Boca Raton. We talked about it a lot on the channel. You guys seen a lot of uh, videos and updates about the car. And now, here it finally is. This is 
here and post up, enjoy some of Germany's finest creation. Shout out to my guy Eureka out there on the East Coast, always sending us stuff, you know what I mean? He sent me a, a set of 19-inch uh, Babis chrome rims, they were peeling, and he kept his word and sent me another one to replace the peeling wheels, so let's see what we got, guys. My guy always sending me quality wheels. That's my guy Eureka. If you heard about him on the loops, he's a real one, and he will get you a good wheel. Here it is, uh, boom. Grab it, boys. We already got the, the cover from the other one, but yeah. 19 inch, nasty. All right guys, so if you've seen, uh, I just opened that Brabus wheel. Uh, shout, shout out to my guy, Eureka. And uh, I just noticed when we went back and uh, put the wheel away that in the box was actually more gifts from our guy. So little Mercedes box here, uh, he sent us this small SEL W126. Some CDs for the cars, you know, we got some Nas, some Nipsey Hussle, Bob Marley. Uh, Fuji's the classics right there Send me some books as well. He knows I always you know feature the literature. So the crack era very important book Also AZ from paid in full and there's a story about a 300 CE hammer. He left a note right there so Interesting things that all uh, Go with the culture and he also sent this one right here, which is actually very special. This is a S-Class original book from the 90s that's the w140 right there this is what they would have at the dealership when you would go in the, the mid 90s or early 90s and this is what basically would make you want to buy the s-class and you have all the way everything all the way down to the paint different paint colors really cool so shout out to my guy always sending us interesting stuff and uh if you ever want something special for your car Reach out to him, he got parts locally in America and he does ship internationally. So a long day, moving cars around, you already know. Um, trying to get the showroom ready for a lot of cars that are arriving from Europe and around the world. The Koenig 190E is still on the way, it should be arriving any minute, it's not here yet. As you can see, the sun is setting. Hopefully we get it before the sun fully sets, so we can get a nice view of it before it goes in the showroom for the first time. Stay tuned. This is getting cold. Took one layer off, I wish I kept it on because we still here waiting on this car to pull up. Five hours later, but you know, we're waiting. <laughs> it's a big delivery, so let's see. All right guys, I want to introduce my little brother to the channel, Will. It's his first time in Florida, first time enjoying the Patina Collective cars. So shout out to my brother right here, enjoying himself in Florida. We waited uh, almost two years for this 190E to get here. Actually, it's like a year and a half, really. So shout out to my guy, Mark Parra, the founder for us. Shout out to my guy, Zibby, who brought it back to life. And shout out to the Patina Collective for being able to do this for y'all. Let's go. Yeah, what'd you say, bro? I'm eight minutes far away. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way right now. I'm here with you. 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay, see you soon. Later that same evening. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Where are you? Which address? No, you're. I'm. You're not there. I'm here. <laughs> I am at. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have touchdown. We have to go chase the truck. After how long? Over a year waiting a year. for this car. It's finally here. So we have to go make sure the truck found the place. You couldn't find the place. It's in there right now. We Daniel, what do you think? This thing is incredible. So far, so good. A year, year and a half to get this all done. And uh, from Zippy. finding the body kit to putting the car together to find the donor cars and all that stuff. So a year later, we're super happy with this. Can't wait to take it out tomorrow during the day and see how it looks. Yeah, shout out to my guy Zibby and Neil Max, man. You made it happen. It sounds amazing. It looks amazing. Let's see how it feels on the road and see how it looks next to these pump trees. Let's go. Good so far, we're not gonna know until we really clean it up. Uh, paint looks cool, color really does well. Outside of night, it looks dark like black, and light like this, it looks like you know, 
what it should be with that metallic royal blue. So cool. Beautiful car. Interior looks great. Gotta clean it up and really pick it apart because we spent a lot of money on this car and we had a long time to get it right. So we wanna make sure everything comes out perfect before we tuck her away for the museum. Yeah, so shout out to Zibby, shout out to Dale Max, all the guys over there that made this happen. We know you worked really hard, guys. Endless hours on this thing. Um, we wish we could have put the 3.6 motor in it, the Brabus, like we planned originally, didn't get that. But you know, we can still make it happen over here in Boca Raton. So shout out to everybody out there that's uh, rescuing these cars. Everyone rescuing these cars around the world, Koenig Specials, Gambalas, Brabuses, whatever you're finding, rescue them and put the money, it's worth it, guys, trust me. Let's go. All things hip. Nah, I just got here. We got this delivery yesterday. The 190 Kuni. And it came super dusty. It had like metal flakes and all that. So I just had to come through, soak it up, wash it down. And now I'm just drying it off so I can go back in the showroom. As I'm doing that, we got this right here. It never ends for my boy. It's super dusty limo. Oh, full flat, super sandy, sandy. Came from the Middle East, right? Back. Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi limo right here. You know it's been in the desert, going crazy, doing donuts and sand dunes, all kinds of crazy. <laughs> These are the wheels that we sent. We sent them two set of wheels when we did the rebuild. And this was the other set. These are BBSs, clearly. Um, anyways, he said there's a gift for me right here. In a box. I'm guessing it's alcoholic beverage. Mm -hmm. Haram, but nevertheless. Thank you, brother. Who liked the car? Blue label. Ooh, good shit. So shout out to my guy, Zibby. I mean, beautiful bottle of blue label. Sign. <laughs> Big thanks from Deal Max Motors. And uh, that's just how it is when you do business with uh, stand-up guys around the world. They send you nice gifts. So thank you, Dale Max. Thank you, Zibby. Thank you, the whole family over there. Peace. We love the car, by the way. SEC right-hand drive from Abu Dhabi arrived. This car was actually purchased with the 123 limousine. It arrived with the handbrake popped. Someone like pulled on it too hard and popped the handbrake, but it's actually stuck. So the back wheels are not moving. So I hit up our guy Lewis, he's gonna try to come and loosen it. Maybe cut the wire, I don't know how he's gonna do it, but as long as we can get it off this thing, cause right now the driver wants us to pull it off with the back wheels locked and I don't feel it. So let's see what we can do. What's up man? How you doing? Good bro. So we got Eduardo right now doing uh, acrobatic moves to try to get the SEC right. Um, that's what we do guys, you know what I mean? It's not just getting the cars, it's making sure they're right. You can't just rip it off, you know what I mean? These cars sat in the desert, as you can tell, they're full of sand, you know what I mean? Very sandy and the tires are all dry, dry rotted, so we're just trying to get them right guys, bear with us. No, these were in Abu Dhabi. Oh, okay. Middle East, yeah. Very nice guy, had them in his house, he said, should have them, I agreed with him. 500 SEC, yeah, the that colors, the, the color 23 is really nice. Yeah, this one's very, very rare. I like the color. Yep, very rare. I had stand. these one, <laughs> I had the same car yeah. with a 300 diesel. Wow. They used to... Yeah, the limo. A limo, same, same. You used to drive it? Yeah. I used to have this one on diesel. It came with the diesel from Germany. Wow. But the right hand. Wow. You know, I mean, left hand. Mm -hmm. I like that, you know. Mine was wild. It was, they came with the... Uh, Gray color on the paint. Mm. That is where they come from. Fact. Nice. All things hip. hip, 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 hip. This color is rare. That's right hand drive. That's the main thing. It's covered in sand. Oh, trust me. The interior is actually really nice. See, we've been getting some deliveries all day. Daniel missed the first couple deliveries. He was out securing the building for the museum. Climbing through walls, making sure it's all secure, making sure it looks good. Yeah, museum building locked. Finally, guys, 
Look forward to it finally coming. 50,000 square feet of Ben's heaven. We're doing this for y'all. I mean, like ultimately all of this is for the people because it's going to live past us. It's going to live forever. So stay tuned, guys. The museum is actually happening. And uh, definitely, guys, we're going to be doing walkthroughs and talking about the museum while we're building it, going through each step with you guys, uh, showing you how to build a museum. We're doing it for the first time and you're going to be coming with us for the first time along this journey. Talking about how we get the cars in there, how we store them. Everything about the process getting it done, how we're going to display them. So when you guys come and see them, you have an idea of the whole process behind it, not just the cars. So you have the full experience. And the car coming in now is yeah. going to be a definitely museum piece. We've yeah. been waiting on it for almost a year and a half. Yeah, we've been waiting for this car forever. Uh, when, it, when it, we purchased it, it was advertised as a 96, which means it was 25 years old when we bought it, 2021. It turns out after we purchased it, we found out it was a 97 and it was built in late 97. That means it couldn't leave Germany until late 2022. So it, we waited about a year and a half, but here it is guys. It's one of the first cars we bought when we started the, the collection for Patina Collective. It's very special and uh, let's just see what it looks like. Finally. Guys, what did I say? Super special. Wow. MAE wheels, custom made white interior, six pipes back here all right this means we want all the smoke patina boys nasty been waiting for this one forever guys finally it's here a year and a half in a collective a year and a half in transit sitting in germany waiting for us and now it's here patina boys I spray it down with cleaner and then I come through with the brush, agitate it up, give it a rinse, let some of that dirt go away. I come back, agitate some more, and then I wipe it all down and you've seen the results. It comes back super clean. So that's how I like to do my engine base. I don't like to spray it too much because these cars are old and sometimes the wiring is brittle and you gotta be super careful. So I just try to do my best at not over spraying, but as well as getting it as clean as possible. Oh, things. We just uh, we opened the trunk and uh, we spotted a fan on the back of the trunk, so we realized there's actually a hidden compartment here and it has usually just a little cubby but they put a fridge inside of it so check it out all right guys so c140 special order came in special amg interior all white with red wood six pipes in the back burgundy out of control mae wheels straight from germany we waited over a year and a half for this car kept it in the storage over there right behind me uh c126 right hand drive with a beautiful green color uh cream interior another special car we need some new tires we're gonna get that done and then behind it we got a w123 blue limousine also right hand drive from the uk another crazy day here patina collective guys the biggest ever do it it's incredible we're, we're shocked ourselves that what we're doing so we know you're shocked at home so stay tuned guys let's go yeah.